All right, my friends. Once there was a Hasid of the Baal Shem Tov, and he wanted to see Elijah the prophet. He read about it in the Torah and in the Talmud, right in the beginning of the Talmud. There's a story over there with what Rav Asi, wherever he, wherever he, Yossi, that he sees, uh, he sees Elijah the prophet. Elijah the, Elijah the prophet is a person that did not die. He was, says he went up to heaven in a chariot. And he comes back regularly and he helps people and helps Jews and talks to them and gives the ideas of the Torah, Elijah the prophet. And he's also the one that's going to announce and prepare the world for Mashiach, Elijah the prophet. Okay, so this Hasid, he was a young fellow and he <coughs> read about Elijah the prophet and a lot of times in the Zohar, Elijah the prophet comes and he speaks Eliyahu, Eliyahu Anavi. Eliyahu comes and he speaks to Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and he gives him, tells him secrets and tells him this. So anyway, he wants to see Elijah the prophet. Now he realizes this is a pretty ridiculous thing because Elijah the prophet only appears to people that are very pure, usually. <clears throat> Sometimes he appears in, uh, <clears throat> in, an, in, in, in in to people that aren't also, but they have no idea who appear, who it is. So here we have Elijah the prophet. So Elijah the prophet <clears throat> usually only appears to people that are very holy and very high. And this, he was just a beginning pupil, but he had this tremendous desire. He couldn't get it out of his mind. He wanted to see Elijah the prophet. So he went to the to to the, the Baal Shem Tov. And he said to the Baal Shem Tov that, um, hey, listen, he can't get this idea out of his mind. He would like to see Elijah the prophet. And, you know, if, if he could either get the idea out of his mind or tell him how he could see Elijah the prophet. So he said, no problem. You can see it. You want to see Elijah the prophet? You can see it. <clears throat> now we're one week before Passover. Yes. Prepare matzos and wine and meat and <clears throat> fish, vegetables, and prepare enough for three people, and drive to there's the next town, go to such and such a place, such as a street, you'll see that there's this old hut, knock on the door, and tell the people there that you would like to be by with them for the Passover. <clears throat> and if they say that they don't have any food, tell them you prepared the food. He said, okay, so he prepares everything, and he goes to this town, it's like the, the, day, the day before Passover, the, the, the day of it. <clears throat> and he says, yes, young man, I would like to stay by you. They said, well, with a young man, you know, we, you know, we can find a place for you to sleep, but we haven't got any any food. You know, we we're just two, two old people, a man and his wife. <clears throat> he says, no, I brought food. Look at this. Who are you? I'm a, one of the pupils of the Baal Shem Tov. <clears throat> Baal Shem Tov. So the Baal Shem Tov said, right, told him, you go to this place, you'll stay there, Passover, you're going to see Elijah the prophet. Okay, so he said, all right, good. So they said, wonderful, you know, the people of the Baal Shem Tov, you know, for sure, the food is kosher, and this is wonderful. So he goes by their house, and they, 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 they prepare everything. And sure enough, the night of the Seder, the night of the Passover Seder, he gets a good sleep beforehand. And the night of the Passover, he thinks any second of Elijah the prophet is going to appear. And nothing happens. When the door opens up, they open the door for Elijah the prophet. He figures maybe then they'll see him. Nothing. Maybe in the synagogue where they pray. Maybe this. He spends seven days over there. The last day of Passover also. <clears throat> eight days. And he doesn't see anything. <clears throat> he says, thank you very much. They appreciate it very much. And he appreciates them. And he goes back to the Baal Shem Tov. Baal Shem Tov said, no. Did you see? He said, I was there for seven days. I almost didn't sleep at all. I was looking the whole time. Of the, I wanted to see. Didn't see anything. And so the Baal Shem Tov said, no, you're mistaken. You did see the Baal Shem. You, you saw the Baal you, you saw the, the Elijah the prophet. He said, okay, maybe I saw, but I don't, you know, I have no idea what I saw. Baal Shem Tov said, you know what you saw. Go back to where you were. Go back. Now they're cleaning up after Passover. They're, they're taking the Passover dishes and putting them away, and they're taking out the regular, what's called the chometz dishes, the regular dishes, and they're taking them out. And you you go park your carriage, your, your wagon, far from the window of these people's house, and it's nighttime, right? And you go next to the window, listen to what they're saying. What the wife says to her husband, 
and you'll see. It. Says, uh, 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 okay. So he goes back to the town. It's like a, you know, a half an hour drive, an hour drive. And he parks his wagon far away and he gets near to the window and he listens. And sure enough, they're putting away the dishes. And she, his wife says to her husband, hand me that plate over there and please here, give me this, uh, give me that, uh, the, you know, pot. And listen, here, take this pot. And they're changing the, the, and the wife suddenly, she says to her husband, you know, that young man that came, that was for Passover. That was really something. That was really a blessing. <coughs> and her husband said, you're right, right. The, the, the pupil of the Baal Shem Tov to stay by us. That was really fantastic. His wife said, no, 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 no. I don't think he was a, really a pupil of the Baal Shem Tov. Said, what? You don't, why don't you think? He said, listen, I looked at him closely. The woman says, if you ask me, that was Elijah the prophet. He said, that was Elijah. Suddenly the young man realized that who's the Elijah the prophet? He himself is Elijah the prophet. He himself is supposed to announce the coming of the Mashiach. <clears throat> He's looking outside. <clears throat> really, he should be looking inside. I think he himself is the Elijah the prophet. So we can understand that the one who's going to announce the Mashiach and bring the Mashiach is none other than you and me and each and every one of us. That's what the Baal Shem Tov wanted the young man to hear. Have a good day with Mashiach now. See you all. God willing. Shalom, Paul. We finished the class. We finished the class. But you can watch it on, on YouTube. God bless you. Have a good Shabbat. And we'll see each other, God willing, on Sunday at 8.15. With Mashiach. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.